Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people past to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we come in this Eucharistic celebration in honor of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Like Mary, we come to God believing that all of us are anointed, called, and healed by God. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Lord God, that we, your servants, may rejoice in unfailing health of mind and body and through the glorious intercession of Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, may we be set free from present sorrow and come to enjoy eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God 
forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Samuel. There was a stalwart man from Benjamin named Kish, who was the son of Abiel, son of Zeror, son of Bekorat, son of Aphaya, a Benjaminite. He had a son named Saul, who was a handsome young man. There was no other child of Israel more handsome than Saul. He stood head and shoulders above the people. Now the asses of Saul's father, Kish, had wandered off. Kish said to his son, Saul, Take one of the servants with you and go out and hunt for the asses. Accordingly, they went through the hill country of Ephraim and through the land of Shalisha. Not finding them there, they continued to the land of Shalim without success. They also went through the land of Benjamin, but they failed to find the animals. When Samuel caught sight of Saul, the Lord assured him, This is the man of whom I told you. He is to govern my people. Saul met Samuel in the gateway and said, Please tell me where the seer lives. Samuel answered Saul, I am the seer. Go up ahead of me to the high place and eat with me today. In the morning, before dismissing you, I will tell you whatever you wish. Then, from a flask he had with him, Samuel poured oil on Saul's head. He also kissed him, saying, The Lord anoints you commander over his heritage. You are to govern the Lord's people, Israel, and to save them from the grasp of their enemies round about. This will be the sign for you that the Lord has anointed you commander over his heritage. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, in your strength, the king is glad. Lord, in your strength, the king is glad. O Lord, in your strength, the king is glad. In your victory, how greatly he rejoices. You have granted him his heart's desire. You refuse not the wish of his lips. Lord, in your strength, the king is glad. For you welcomed him with goodly blessings. You placed on his hand a crown of pure gold. He asked life of you. You gave him length of days forever and ever. Lord, in your strength, the king is glad. Great is his glory in your victory. Majesty and splendor you conferred upon him. For you made him a blessing forever. You gladdened him with the joy of your face. Lord, in your strength, the king is glad. Please all stand. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Your words, O oh Lord, are spirit and life. Of everlasting life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went out along the sea. All the crowd came to him, and he taught them. 
as he passed by, he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, sitting at the customs post. Jesus said to him, Follow me. And he got up and followed Jesus. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners sat with Jesus and his disciples, for there were many who followed him. Some scribes who were Pharisees saw that Jesus was eating with sinners and tax collectors and said to his disciples, Why does he eat? with tax collectors and sinners. Jesus heard this and said to them, Those who are well do not need a physician, but the sick do. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, our readings today speak of the beautiful symbol of being anointed by God of being chosen by God. In our first reading today, from the first book of Samuel, we hear of the story of the choosing of Saul as the king of Israel. And God uses the symbol of the anointing with oil. His head was anointed with oil, symbolizing that God has chosen him. That is why the word anointing is about anointing with oil, but it is also about being chosen by God. To be anointed is to be chosen. Kaya po, noong tayo ay bininyagan, nilagyan po ng langis ang mga ulo natin. Tanda na kapag tayo'y bininyagan, ay pinipili, hinihirang, at tinatawag tayo ng Diyos. Kapag kinumpilan tayo, nilalagyan tayo ng langis sa noo. Tanda na tinatawag tayo at hinihirang ng Panginoon. Kapag ang isang pari ay inuordinahan bilang isang pari, nilalagyan ng langis ng ang kanyang mga kamay. At kapag ang isang obispo naman ay inuordinahan bilang obispo, binubuhusan ng langis ang kanyang ulo. Kapag ikaw ay pinipili at hinihirang ng Diyos, nilalagyan tayo ng langis bilang tanda na tayo ay kanyang tinawag. In baptism and confirmation, all of us were anointed on our head with oil because we are called and chosen by God. When priests and bishops are ordained, they are also anointed with oil, symbol of the calling of God. But my dear brothers and sisters, to be anointed is not only to be called. To be anointed is also to be healed. Ang paglalagay ng langis ay hindi lamang pagtawag at paghirang, kundi ito rin ay pagpapagaling, paghilom ng Diyos. In our gospel reading today, 
we hear about the calling and anointing of Levi. But Levi was not only called, he was also healed by God. He was a public sinner in the eyes of Israel. And when Jesus was eating with tax collectors and sinners, it is the start of the process of healing of Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, to be anointed is to be called, but to be anointed is also to be healed. God's anointing is always healing and calling. That is why when God heals you, He heals you for a purpose. He heals you because He wants also to call you. And when God calls you, God will also heal you. Kaya po sa mga tinatawag ng Panginoon sa isang natatanging pagtawag, when God calls you to a vocation, for example, if you are called to religious life, siguro ko merong mga nanonood sa atin ngayon online na mga religious communities. No? Alam po natin na maraming nanonood sa atin online na mga religious congregations, communities, religious sisters. Maybe some of you who are watching are seminarians, maybe missionaries or religious brothers. Some of us at times are afraid of the calling of God because we are wounded. And sometimes we look at ourselves as unworthy of the calling. Remember, my dear brothers and sisters, God heals those whom He have called. Kapag tinawag ka ng Diyos, ay pagagalingin ka rin niya. Kung ano man ang nararamdaman mo na kakulangan sa sarili mo, kapag tinawag ka ng Diyos, kasama doon ang kanyang pagpapagaling. So do not be afraid to respond to God's calling. Calling is also healing. Maybe some of you who are watching are married couples or couples who are about to get married. And maybe you are afraid tutuloy kaya namin ang kasal. <laughs> e kinasal na kami, bakit nag-aaway pa rin? Itutuloy kaya namin ang kasal, e minsan hindi ko makasundo ang ugali nito. E paano pa kaya pag panghabang buhay na? Remember, when God calls you to the vocation of being married, God calls you, but He also will heal you. Kapag tinatawag tayo ng Diyos, hinihirang tayo, halimbawa sa buhay pag-aasawa, kasama sa pagtawag ng Diyos, ang kanyang paghilom palagi at pagpapagaling. Huwag matakot magpakasal. Huwag matakot sa buhay may asawa. Kasama ng pagtawag na yan ang paghilom at pagpapagaling ng Diyos. Maybe some of you who are watching right now are sick because of COVID-19. Marami tayong kilala ngayon. Halos lahat na yata ng mga pamilya ay naaapekto ka ng sakit na ito. At siguro natatakot kayo. Because of this sickness, lalo na kapag naapektuhan na ang inyong mga anak at ang buong tahanan, remember, 
God will heal you. And when God heals you, He calls you to a greater purpose. God heals you for a purpose. Our Lady, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Immaculate Conception was saved and spared from the stain of original sin because she was called to a greater purpose. She was saved from original sin because she was called to a purpose by God. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue this celebration of the Mass, let us not be afraid to respond to God's call because His calling means also His healing. God's anointing is always calling and healing. Believe that God heals you for a purpose. Amen. Please all stand. Christ came to call sinners, offering them salvation. With humility of spirit, aware of his call, let us bring our prayers to the Father. For every petition, let us say, Divine Physician, touch us. Divine Physician, touch us. That the Church may be seen as the healing home of the weak and the sinful, let us pray to the Lord, Divine, Divine physician, physician, touch us, that those who hold public office may be honest and faithful to their duties. Let us pray to the Lord, Divine, Divine physician, physician, touch us, that consecrated persons like Mary may dedicate their whole lives to God and to the Church through their witness of poverty, chastity, and obedience. Let us pray to the Lord, Divine, Divine physician, physician, touch, touch us. us, that we may look with compassion and understanding to those persons who are leading sinful lives. Let us pray to the Lord, Divine, Divine physician, physician, touch, touch us, that the dead may experience the saving power of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Physician, touch us. In silence, let us now pray for our personal intentions and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, direct the minds of those called to make crucial choices in their lives. Give them an understanding heart, sound judgment, and a burning desire to do what pleases you. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Holy Soul stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot 
at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please all stand. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Pinaglihing walang sala Pusong dalis ay dakila Maria inana 